Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Today is December 10, 2019. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Get your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner, the number one must-have tool for Denarians for pre and post RV planning. Link is in the description below. Fill out the registration and an email will be sent with the special access link. Mention the Denarian and get 20% off the full Unleash Planner. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert, and know we all cross the finish line together. First article of interest, Parliamentary Finance reveals the value of the 2020 budget and its great deficit. The Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed that there is a large financial deficit in the fiscal budget for 2020. Committee member Hainan Cato said in a press statement that the budget deficit next year amounts to approximately 48 trillion Iraqi dinars, noting that the financial deficit will hinder the passage of the budget law in the specified period. He added, there is a search for new financial resources to support the budget, which is estimated at more than 150 trillion dinars. He pointed out that the accumulated debts, as well as licensing rounds, Pressure expenses and employee salaries will reduce the investment side of the budget. Cato explained that the general budget will face the problem of voting on it within the specified time period unless the fiscal deficit is addressed. Next article of interest. The Iraqi president urges to use the anniversary of victory over ISIS to form a new government. Iraqi President Barim Saleh called on the political blocs to choose a head of government within the constitutional period that ends next week. Saleh said in a speech he addressed on the anniversary of the liberation of Iraq from ISIS. And you, the heroes of our security forces, make the arenas and bridges a point of intersection. Do not allow the enemies to distort our history and our victories through the infiltrators and saboteurs who want Iraq and its people worse with your intention. And your concern to all of us, let us complete the march of reforming our system and correcting the deficiencies and wrongs by establishing good governance. He added, I invite you, as I call on the political blocs, to cooperate with us in order to nominate those we accept and agree on to assign him to head the cabinet and form a new government within the constitutional periods and contexts to ensure that problems are solved and the country and institutions are rebuilt and promoted to what our young men and women, our children, our elderly, our women and all the spectrum of Iraqi society, aspire to be. Remembrance of victory is an example for unity the promotion of a united will, and a firm determination to build our desired Iraq. Next article of interest. Protesters in Baghdad. The choice of the next prime minister must be from within Tahrir Square. Protest demonstrations continue in Baghdad and other Iraqi governorates as momentum grows despite the resignation of Adel Abdul Mahdi's government. In conjunction with political efforts behind closed doors to choose a president for the interim government until early elections are held, protesters demand that this be done through them. Activists have warned against calls to storm the heavily fortified green zone in the center of the capital, Baghdad, during the million-dollar demonstration today, after the protesters began yesterday evening to flow to Tahrir Square in central Baghdad coming from the capital and the central and southern governorates of the country. In parallel, the security authorities imposed security measures tightening at the entrances and exits of the capital, and the areas near the protest yards. One of the demonstrators told a reporter to the Ruda Media Network in Baghdad, Hal Qadiziz, the demonstrations are peaceful, but last Friday, Muddins entered the establishments and attacked us, adding, we do not want to storm the green, because we drop corruption from here, and we do not trust the sabotage parties, because their promises fall 16 years ago. Another continued, we have no schools, no hospitals, no infrastructure, and we will remain whatever we present from the martyrs until the parliament is overthrown. We went out and pledged that we will stay until all our demands are met. We went out to overthrow the corrupt political system that has existed since 2003 from the parliament and government of the Kala, a government, a protester said while talking to Ruda's reporter. 
regarding the selection of the new prime minister, a protester said, the prime minister must be appointed by Darir Square, and we have one candidate instead of ten, including Abdul Wahab al Saudi, who is honest and not affiliated with any party. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. The total expense for Iraq's budgets over 14 years is $900 billion. Member of Parliamentary Finance Committee, Majida al-Tamimi, revealed, Tuesday, December 10, 2019, the actual total expenditures of Iraqi budgets from 2004 to 2018. Al-Tamimi wrote in a tweet on her Twitter account, the actual current expenditure, current and investment, for the period 2004 to 2018, amounting to $894,848 billion, at a rate of 76.88%. She added, as for the actual investment, it was $206.86 billion, or 23.12%. On Monday, September 30, 2019, MP al Hikma Hassan Kaladi warned against re reproducing previous budgets in the federal budget law for 2020. Kaladi said, What is important in the draft budget law 2020 is to provide what benefits citizens. They are looking for job opportunities, economic development, infrastructure, and services. He explained that if the budget remains 2020 as a budget reproduced from previous budgets, and the change will be simple in some numbers. This means that we will not present anything new to the economy of a country as well as to citizens, adding that, in order to advance the economy of Iraq, we need rising programs that go out of the routine. Followed in preparing budgets. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance. The 2020 budget will be built on the basis of the new government program. Member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee Hanin al Kadu revealed on Tuesday that there is a trend to reformulate the 2020 budget law to be in line with the new government program, indicating that the caretaker government cannot set the economic program for a full year. al Kadu said in a statement to information that passing the country's budget through a previous government program can never be based on the ideas of an expired government. He added that the next government is obligated to develop a new strategy to fortify and support the economy by diversifying funding sources and relying on other wealth, agriculture and industry, and then formulating a budget along the lines of the new program. al Kidu explained, the current government is to conduct daily business and according to the law, it does not have the right to send the current budget to parliament, which requires the next government to reconsider it radically. Next article of interest. An invitation to adopt financing programs for companies operating in Iraq. The current stage requires the enhancement of financial inclusion, especially after the implementation of the employee localization program by the central bank, which would provide a greater part of their welfare through the adoption of expanded mechanisms for other financing programs for all companies operating in the country. The Salary Settlement Project aims to pay the salaries of state employees through cards issued by banks operating in Iraq in order to reduce the total cost of the process of paying salaries and retaining cash within the banking system. The benefit of workers is that they have a bank account that enables them to deal with all ATMs and points of sale in the country and outside it as well as taking advantage of all other banking services provided by banks such as obtaining loans and others. Mutual benefit. In this regard, the economic academic, Dr. Issam al Mahawili, called on local and international companies operating in Iraq to invent their own financing system in cooperation with Iraqi banks and in coordination with the central bank, in order to achieve mutual benefit between the public and companies at the end of weather. Al Mahawili said in an interview with Al Saba. The mutual benefit is the citizen obtaining the goods or cars and devices that he wants to buy on favorable terms of payment, while the benefit of companies is to achieve greater sales through special financing programs. It out. Finance Advantages Financing programs are characterized by flexible solutions to purchase cars or devices and products that suit individuals and companies alike, as they offer flexible options to pay loans or advances at fixed interest rates 
along with quick and easy procedures for submitting applications, as well as the need for no early termination fees or unsealed contracts. It is noteworthy that the use of cards provides security advantages instead of keeping cash, so the strategy of the central bank in creating a safe competitive environment for banks to present their offers, and that the employee has the right to choose the bank according to the best financial and banking services and the most appropriate prices. Compete. al Mahawili continued. The current stage requires taking part in such competitions provided by financing programs that, whenever they are on favorable terms, increase the public's appetite for enjoyment. With its advantages. He pointed out that there is a group of companies belonging to the private sector, which are related to the auto trade, adopting a financing system in cooperation with government banks to facilitate the sale of their products to employees or low income people, and that this system is in place in several countries in the world. He emphasized that financing programs also come to improve the company's liquidity, cover certain expenses, or plan for business growth, as banks offer various financing programs that help companies achieve goals and reach the highest sales of their products. Asset Financing Al Mahawili pointed out that asset financing assists in the purchase of equipment and vehicles, as it is one of the financing solutions for purchasing them according to a payment schedule designed according to the liquidity flows of the applicant of this type of financing. He stated that there are other types of financing programs such as real estate finance, project financing, and contracting company financing that companies operating in Iraq can adopt and adopt as one of the means to expand financial inclusion to the citizens. Next article of interest. The Kurdistani Democrat reveals the only condition for the Kurds in choosing the Prime Minister. A deputy from the Kurdistan Democratic Party revealed today, Tuesday, the existence of a single condition for the Kurds in naming the next Prime Minister of the government replacing the resigned Adel Abdul Mahdi. And the website of the Kurdistan Democratic Party quoted Mohammed Amin Fares, a member of the party's bloc, as saying that, dialogue and discussions are continuing to agree on a new candidate for the Prime Minister of Iraq, but they have not yet agreed on a specific candidate. One day since the Prime Minister resigned. He added that, the current custom requires that the position of Prime Minister be from the share of the Shiite component, although this is not mentioned in the Constitution and the law, but the approval of the forces must be obtained on the name of the person nominated for Prime Minister, including the Kurdish party. Regarding the Kurds, condition for approval of the Prime Minister's candidate, Fares stressed that, the Kurds have one condition regarding who is chosen for the Prime Minister and that is to abide by the Iraqi constitution and implement its provisions, and believes in the legitimate constitutional and legal rights of the Kurdistan region. Next article of interest. The regional government for the next Iraqi government. The budget agreement takes into account the interests of both sides. The provincial minister, Gail Shawani ruled out on Tuesday that the next Iraqi government would veto the agreement reached by the Kurdistan regional government and the current caretaker government headed by resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi on the draft budget law. Shawani said in a press conference held after he was hosted by the Parliamentary Committee for the Kurdistan region outside the region, that the delegation of the Kurdistan government to Baghdad had reached an agreement with the Iraqi government on the budget before the latter resigned one day. He explained that the agreement takes into account the interests of the two sides and the Kurdistan region did not achieve significant gains from it, as some claim, adding that, I do not think that the next federal government will veto that agreement due to the interest of both sides. I do not think that we will return to the zero stage with the next federal government on the budget, Shawani said, pointing out that, if the agreement was read fairly, it would not be clear how much he took into account the balance between the two sides. Next article of interest. Close to Sadr, he directs proposals to Parliament on the eve of the vote on the election law. Baghdad. al at News in account close to the leader of the Dori movement, Mr. Muqtada al-Sadr, directed proposals to the House of Representatives, on the eve of its session scheduled for Wednesday in voting on the House of Representatives bill. Mohammed Saleh al-Iraqi said in a statement to the House of Representatives, 
Tomorrow you are at stake, and are obligated before God and before the people to vote on what benefits the people, so I propose the following. First, in relation to the election law, so that there are multiple constituencies with an individual nomination of 100% for each conservative taking into consideration the number of souls, and we recommend cancelling the external vote, even temporarily, or checking it well, or helping them to vote inside Iraq as much as possible, as well as strictness regarding the vote of the security authorities. Second, what concerns the provincial councils, as follows. Each governorate elects only three people, the governor, his deputy, and the president of the provincial council, in turn, make up the governor's council and the laws benefit the people and the structure of administrative organization and as I know that this disease of the people. The Iraqi said, if you do not vote or procrastination people will say about his law. The House of Representatives is scheduled to hold a session tomorrow, Wednesday in which it will vote on the draft election law and other laws. Ended. Next article of interest. Source. Kurds insist on financial portfolio in the next government. And political blocks, protest. A political source revealed that the political blocks expressed an objection to granting the Kurds the position of the Ministry of Finance in the new government to be formed. The source said. The negotiators express their willingness to grant the Kurds the Ministry of Foreign Affairs as a sovereign ministry and an alternative to finance. He stressed that, a number of political forces object to granting them to the Kurds, especially after the confusion that was raised on the actions of Minister Fuad Hussein and his transfer of funds to the Kurdistan region. The Political source added that, the Kurds insist on granting them the Ministry of Finance and rejected the Ministry of Foreign Affairs so as to ensure that the position of the Minister of Finance is the only one able to walk financial matters and continue to send salaries and dues of the region. The member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party, Imad Balan, has stated that the current crisis in Baghdad came due to the failure of the Shiite parties to provide services to their audiences. He added that, the party will give more than one option to the next prime minister so that he choose the most appropriate from the Kurdish ministers in the new government, but it must be from within the Kurdish parties, because this is a political and electoral merit. Next article of interest. Additional China tariffs not likely to come into effect. Economist. A Chinese official says Beijing wants a prompt settlement of its trade war with Washington. A deputy commerce minister said Monday that Beijing wants satisfactory results as soon as possible. The official gave no details of talks on a phase one deal announced by President Donald Trump in October. Another U.S. tariff hike on $160 billion of Chinese imports is due to take effect Sunday. China announced Friday it was carrying out a promise to waive punitive tariffs on American soybeans and pork. Trump alarmed global financial markets last week when he said he might be willing to wait until after next year's presidential election to reach a settlement. Like subscribe to be alerted as breaking news unfolds from Iraq. Your free trial copy of the new currency exchange planner is waiting for you in the description box below. Register to get the special access email with the download link. Enter the discount code. The Denarian and get 20% off the full unleashed version. Stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power, and know that today we are one day closer than yesterday, over and out for now, the Denarian.